Hi, welcome to another video. So, usually, when we talk about small, efficient models that you can run locally or cheaply in the cloud, we have to lower our expectations significantly. We accept that they might be fast, but they aren't exactly smart when it comes to complex logic, deep reasoning, or following multi-step instructions without getting confused. If you want a model to really think through a problem, like solving a logic puzzle or structuring a massive amount of messy data, you typically have to pay top dollar for the massive proprietary models that run on clusters of H100s. Well, NVIDIA is trying to flip that narrative completely with the release of Nematron Nano 3. This isn't just another small language model that's been distilled down from a larger one. The architecture here is actually radically different from what we usually see, and it solves a huge problem regarding speed, efficiency, and reasoning capabilities. And yes, since it's an open model, scoring very high on the Artificial Analysis Openness Index, you can run this yourself, inspect the weights, or grab an API key to test it immediately without jumping through enterprise hoops. First, let's look at what makes this thing special, because the specs are kind of fascinating. It uses a hybrid architecture. It combines Mamba layers, which are incredibly efficient state space models known for linear scaling, with traditional transformer layers. On top of that, it uses a mixture of experts, or MOE, design. Here is where it gets interesting. The model is technically a 30 billion parameter model, which sounds heavy and hard to run. But because of that MOE routing, it only uses about 3 billion active parameters for any given token generation. It basically allows you to get the reasoning capabilities and knowledge base of a much larger model with the inference speed and low latency of a tiny model. It's like having a library of experts, but only calling the specific one you need for the specific word you are typing. It also supports a million token context window. To get started, it's super simple. It works with almost any tool that supports the OpenAI compatible API. You don't need a complex custom loader or proprietary SDK. The endpoint is OpenAI compatible. You can just use the standard OpenAI client in Python, point it to NVIDIA's base URL, toss in your API key, and it just works out of the box. Now, let me show it to you in action. While a lot of models claim to be general purpose, I found this specific architecture shines brightest when you ask it to structure data, handle long contexts, or solve logic puzzles where standard small models usually hallucinate or lose the plot. For this first use case that I found it useful for is that I'm going to use a logic constraint prompt. This is the kind of prompt that trips up small models because it requires maintaining multiple conflicting variables in memory simultaneously. It's a complex seating arrangement puzzle. I type this prompt. I need to seat seven people around a table at my wedding reception. My parents and in-laws should not sit next to each other. My parents or in-laws as a pair can sit next to each other. And I give it a few more complex constraints about the best man and the pastor. Watch what happens. It enters reasoning mode. You can see the output stream where it starts producing thinking tokens. It doesn't just guess. It actually maps out the logic step by step, similar to most reasoning models. It realizes that the only way to make the circle work is to place the pastor in a specific spot to break up the fighting relatives. It didn't just guess. It derived the answer. In literal seconds, it solves a problem that would usually require a 70 billion parameter model. But it doesn't just stop there. Let's look at a more practical use case for developers. Structuring messy data 
with a budget. Let's say you are building a backend for a movie review aggregator. You have a massive disorganized text dump, maybe a transcript of a YouTube review or a chaotic blog post, and you need to extract specific metadata like director, sentiment, and key plot points into a clean JSON format. This is where the hybrid Mamba architecture helps because it handles context very efficiently. I'm going to feed it a long, rambling paragraph about a movie. Because I capped the thinking, it does a very quick internal check, essentially a sanity check on the JSON schema, and then boom, it spits out a perfectly formatted JSON object. It creates structure out of chaos without wasting time or your API credits. This gives you granular control over the latency vs intelligence trade-off, which is pretty affordable when you're running thousands of these requests. Now, let's try something that leverages the sheer size of the context window. Because this uses Mamba layers, it handles long sequences much better than standard transformers, which usually suffer from quadratic complexity issues, meaning the longer the text, the exponentially slower they get. Mamba scales linearly. I'm going to paste in a massive, fictional server log file, thousands of lines of error codes, timestamps, and system warnings. I wanted to summarize the root cause of the crash. I set the temperature to zero because I want precision, and I keep enable thinking on. I ask, analyze these logs and identify the first instance of critical failure. The model chews through the huge context window effortlessly. It uses the reasoning tokens to filter out the noise. You see it thinking. It identifies that a database timeout caused a cascade failure. This is kind of awesome for DevOps tools or automated monitoring agents. You get the ability to ingest huge amounts of documentation or logs and reason over them without the memory footprint exploding. Let's talk about the ecosystem around this, because NVIDIA isn't just throwing a model over the wall. They are releasing this alongside something called Nemo Jim. This is a framework for training these agents using reinforcement learning. Here is where it gets interesting for enterprise developers. If you are building a specialized agent, say, a shopping assistant that needs to navigate a specific Shopify API, or a transaction monitoring bot for a bank. You can use Nemo Jim to simulate those environments and fine tune this nano model to excel at that one specific workflow. You aren't just stuck with the base model capabilities. You have a pipeline to make it a specialist. Now, we have to talk about strengths and weaknesses. The strength is obviously the efficiency. Because of that 3 billion active parameter count, the throughput is incredibly high. It handles instruction following and tool calling really well, which makes it great for agentic workflows where you need a model to decide which function to call quickly. However, it has limits. While it is surprising for its size, it is still a nano model. I wouldn't rely on this for writing complex, novel software systems from scratch, or generating a creative novel. It lacks the vast world knowledge of a GPT-4 class model. It is built for reasoning, logic, routing, and data processing tasks. It excels at being the middleman agent that structures data or makes decisions, rather than the creative agent that writes the content. There's bigger brothers of it also coming soon. So, that will be cool to see as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.